This week we're talking about a creepy chiropractor, some terrible advice, and the worst driver ever. Welcome to The Loop, I'm Carter Naki. now let's go. I'm terrified of chiropractors, never liked them, never will, but after this video there is no way I'm ever going. Ryan Lee likes to advertise that his practice is gentle, comfortable, and professional, and nothing says that like a commercial with him and an attractive female patient alone in a room while he puts them in compromising positions. Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Lee, and I specialize in holistic chiropractic care. <gasps> wow, that's gross. Okay, let's say he's doing his job. He's a harmless chiropractor who just happens to come off as really creepy, kind of like the guy two cubicles down. Sure, you run to the break room when you see him coming, but he means no harm, right? Whatever. Oh, oh God, what's next? He cheated on you. Well, he's a man, okay. So what you do is begin to focus on why you married him in the first place, on what he does good. Does he provide a home for you to live in? Does he provide food for you to eat? Does he provide clothes for you to wear? I feel like Pat Robertson could give the chiropractor guy some solid advice when it comes to marriage. And Pat Robertson is the man. Not only does he tell this poor broad to get over her cheating husband, he makes sure that she recognizes that without him, she'd be homeless, starving, and naked. It's about time someone put women in their place and, what? My mother watches this show? Oh, shit. But it's you, you're praying, oh God, keep me not to hate him for what he did when he was with that stripper in that hotel room 10 years ago and I'll never forgive him kind of thing, please help me. You know, Pat, you sound like you're rather familiar with the situation. It's okay, though. Your wife will undoubtedly forgive you for that steamy night you spent with Cinnamon so long as you buy her that monthly Moo Moo. What's next? Sing it with me. One wreck, two wreck, three wreck, hole. Got too drunk and me tried to drive home. Instead of realizing that he could have avoided the embarrassment of driving this scooter by taking a cab, this fine gentleman decided it was a great day to jump on his Vespa and zip around the city and into a van and a car and a scooter and a truck. The array of vehicles he hit is impressive, but then this. Swish, nothing but hole. That does it for The Loop this week. Check out all these stories and more in the Lasso blog on KTR.com. If you have something you think that I need to see, tweet it or email it to me. And now, your random clip of the week.